Hi everyone, I'm Steve Pickett, I'm the Education Director of the Halle. Today you find me on the front steps of Halle St Peter's on the edge of Cuttingham Square and Coast Manchester. Please come inside. In recent times here at Halle St Peter's we've been performing something called a relaxed concert. A relaxed concert is exactly what it is, it's relaxed. So if the audience want to move around during the concert or they want to change seat, that's fine by us. If they want to get up and get a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, a cold drink or even a piece of cake, that's also fine by us. If they want to leave the concert hall and come back in later on, that's okay. And if the music moves them enough to get up and dance, that's also perfectly acceptable to us. The sort of music we perform in these concerts are classical lollipops, the sort of music you would hear regularly on TV in a TV advert or as incidental music to a TV programme. I hope you enjoy the concert. Hello, I'm Tom and I've been playing in the Halle for 11 years. And as you can see, I play probably one of the most recognisable instruments in the orchestra, which is, of course, a trumpet. This is the smallest in the brass family and like all the other instruments in, the, in that family, it's made up of one long coiled tube. In fact, if we were to uncoil this, it would be about five feet in length. Now, as with all instruments, in fact, the way we make a noise is by producing a vibration. And on a brass instrument, we do this by buzzing our lips uh, it, like this. Which is a fairly unpleasant sound, I'm sure you'll agree. Um, but thankfully, once that vibration goes through the trumpet, we get something that sounds, hopefully, a little bit better. The piece we're going to hear is by a French composer called Claude Debussy, who was born in 1862. He's often thought to be the first Impressionist composer, and that's because, much like the Impressionist artists who were working around the same time, his music aims to capture the mood and atmosphere of whatever subject he's trying to depict. Hopefully the piece we're going to hear will really show this. It's the Petite Suite, and as the name suggests, it's a collection of shorter movements. Originally, this was four movements uh, written for piano duet. We're going to hear just two. The first is on bateau or on a boat. And in this, you'll hear a rippling accompaniment in the harp, which to me very much sounds like the water underneath the boat. Over the top of this, you'll hear a beautiful solo flute line, which really suggests the lilt of the boat as it goes on its way. Well, once we've heard this, we're going to hear a, a lively and upbeat ballet movement to finish. Hope you enjoy.
Hello, my name is David Petri. I'm from Copenhagen and I just hope that you can understand my Danish accent. I've been playing with the Halle for almost 32 years. I play the cello. The cello is just the same as a violin, it's just bigger. And because it's bigger, it's also deeper. This cello was built in Cardiff in 1992, but a lot of the instruments you see around the orchestra are a lot older. Some of them are more than 250 years old. Here are two movements from an orchestral suite called Masks and Bergamasks. It's by the French composer Gabriel Fauré. Fauré was born in the south of France, near Toulouse, in 1848. As a boy, he loved playing on the harmonium in the local church. And when he was nine, he got an offer from a famous music school in Paris. Pretty cool for a nine-year-old. He lived in Paris for most of his life, but he loved traveling. He went to London to play at the Buckingham Palace. And on the same trip, he also made it to the French Music Society here in Manchester. In his later years, he became principal of the Paris Music Conservatoire. This didn't leave him much time to compose, but come the end of term, he would book into a hotel on a Swiss lake, and there he would compose all summer. So here are two movements from Mask and Bergamask, Overture and Pastoral. And just in case you are wondering, masks refer to the music played at masked balls, and Bergamask is the name for folk music played in the Italian city of Bergamo. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Edvard Grieg is a 19th century Norwegian composer. He was born in Bergen in 1843 and died in Bergen in 1907. Probably his most famous piece is Peer Gint, which he composed in 1875. Peer Gint is a collection of 26 incidental pieces which he composed for Henrik Ibsen's play of the same title. The play tells the life story of the Norwegian anti-hero Peer Gint. And while Ibsen's play is rather bleak, he portrays Peer Gint as quite a selfish brute rather than a hero. Grieg's music is a lot more graceful and rather portrays Peer Gint as an adventurer. You may have heard this music as the music that goes with the Orton Towers advert. Hope you enjoy it.
is Sarah Ewins and I'm the associate leader of the Halley Orchestra. Um, I, originally from down south, um, I spent a lot of my childhood moving around and living in lots of different countries um, and now I live in the beautiful Peak District. I've been there for many years, it's the longest I've ever lived anywhere and I'm extremely lucky to live in such beautiful countryside and make the most of that on my days off. I've been in the Halley Orchestra for almost 20 years, it's going to be 20 years this January and um, I'm very excited because I'll be getting a gold medal. Um, I play the violin and I'm extremely fortunate that this violin comes with my job. So this belongs to the Halle and it's made by Amati and it was made almost 330 years ago. So isn't that incredible? 330 years that. Beautiful instrument. Extremely good condition. Um, and it, as you can see, it's mostly made of wood and it's got these beautiful F F-shaped holes here, which is where the sound comes out. And then I've got these four strings that run the full length. Um, and back in the day, when this instrument was being uh, created, they would have been made out of cat's gut or possibly sheep's gut. Pretty, pretty gross. Nowadays, it's all synthetic and, and um, very animal friendly. Um, and then I have my bow. This is used, I pull this across the strings and that was, that's what makes the sound. And I don't know if you can see, but the, the white bit on my bow is actually made out of horse hair. That comes from the tail of a horse. So basically I make my sound from pulling this horse hair across what would have been gut and beautiful, beautiful music is made. We're going to play two pieces for you by Edward Elgar. Elgar was born in 1857 and spent much of his life in the beautiful Malvern Hills. And I think you can really hear that um, in his music. Beautiful, beautiful, serene countryside reflected in his music. The, the pieces we're going to play are Moths and Butterflies and Serenade from his Wonder of Youth Suite. This was written in 1907, but Elgar had actually composed the melodies when he was 50 years earlier, when he was just a boy. Um, and then came back to it and put it in this beautiful suite, which you're going to hear today. Thank you. 
Hello, I'm Sarah and I've been in the Halle for about four years now and I play the flute. And this instrument works by blowing across this mouthpiece here and moving the keys so the flute goes higher and lower. This instrument is in the woodwind family and unlike the other instruments, this is made out of metal and this is to help with projection across the orchestra. My flute is an American flute and I've had this for about 10 years. We will be playing for you two movements of Bizet's La Lisienne, which translates as the girl from Arles. Bizet was a French composer born in 1838 and he was most famous for composing operas. The most famous one he wrote was Carmen. The two movements we would like to play for you from La Lisienne are minuet and farandole. The minuet is a dance for two people in triple time and the farandole is a community dance popular in the south of France. <laughs> 